everyone, it's Missy, and today we are going to start our new crochet pattern, which is Dolly Cowgirl Partner, and it's a cowgirl alpha for your 18-inch doll. This pattern can be found for free on redheartyarn.com, and I am going to post a link to the pattern below in the description so you can get a copy of the PDF file and follow along. The materials that you're going to need for the pattern include worsted weight yarn, so I got it in blue, off-white, pink, tannish brown and a dark gray. You can use whatever colors you want, just make sure that it's the number four medium worsted weight size yarn. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and you're also going to need a crochet hook. I'm using the size I9 which is 5.5 millimeters and it's whatever crochet hook that you need to obtain the gauge for your pattern. Besides this you're going to need a few accessories. I don't have them in front of me right now but you're going to need to have three half inch or 12, mil 12 millimeter brown buttons for the shirt. Uh, you're going to want a 7 8 inch or 22 millimeter silver button for the belt. One half inch decorative button or bead for the hat and four mini pony beads also for the hat. Um, brown sewing thread, sewing needle, yarn needle, and stitch markers too. And we're actually going to start off with the hat. And we, the hat's worked in rounds and the rounds are not joined together. So I'm going to get this yarn off to the side. I'm going to make the hat using the tan colored yarn. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a slip knot. So you take your yarn and you form a loop and then you bring the yarn behind the loop and you're going to put your hook in and just pull it tight. And there's your slip knot. Then we're going to chain two. So we're going to yarn over, pull through a loop, that's one chain. Yarn over, pull through a loop, and that's two chains. Then round one is going to be the right side. So we are going to single crochet eight times in the second chain from our hook. So that's that first chain we made. So I'm just going to slip my hook in to that stitch. I'm going to yarn over, pull the loop through that chain stitch. So there's two loops on my hook. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. And that's a single crochet stitch, so that's one. I'm going to put my hook right back into that same chain stitch and do it again. So there's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. So that finishes round one, which has our eight single crochet stitches. And again, like I said, we're not joining, we're done. So this is where you probably want to put your stitch marker in if you're using one, so that way you can keep track of where your round begins. So I would put a stitch marker in this stitch right here so that would it would say that this is the first stitch of round one because now we're going to go on to round two and what we're going to do is complete two single crochets in each stitch of round one. So I just put my hook right into that first stitch and single crochet and again same stitch. That's two single crochets. And if you hear some squeaking going on that's biscuit. I turn the camera on and she just comes over with her toys. So I'll just keep completing two single crochets in each stitch. At the end of round two you should have a total of 16 single crochet stitches. Alright, so this is what it looks like when I finish round two. We got a nice kind of spiral circle going on there. So now we're ready to start round three. Round three I'm just going to single crochet in the first stitch and then I'm going to complete two single crochets in the next stitch and that's going to be our repeated pattern around. So you're going to single crochet in the next stitch, complete two single crochets in the next stitch. So when you finish round three you should have a total of 24 stitches. Once we finish round three we can move on to round four. We're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So I'm going to start off, that's one, go to the next stitch, that's another one, and then I'm going to single crochet twice in the next stitch. Just 
just like that. I'm going to repeat this around, um, so you single crochet once in the next two stitches and then single crochet twice in the next stitch all the way around until I get a total of 32 single crochet stitches for round four. Once we reach round five, this is going to be the last round for the top of the cowgirl hat and all you're going to do is single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to single crochet twice in the next stitch. And we're just going to repeat that pattern again. It will be about three more times until we have a total of 36 single crochet stitches. So single crochet in the next seven stitches and then you single crochet twice in the next stitch. Round 6 through 17 are pretty simple. You're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So you'll have a total of 36 single crochets for each round. And it's going to be just working around. This is where a stitch marker really comes into play. You want to keep moving that up on each round if you're using one. Also remember that the right side of the project is facing us. So when the stitches are going to start to curl up, you want to keep your right side facing out. So you just want them to curl up this way. And that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around after I have finished round 17, I'll come back and show you how to shape the brim of the hat. Once you have finished row 17, your project should look like this. It's um, kind of like a cylinder shape. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create kind of like this band around the cap. And to do that, we're going to change color. So you want to just take your brown yarn and kind of put it behind the work. We're not going to fasten off or cut it because we will be going back to that color later. And we're going to take our pewter color and we are going to attach that. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to make, well, maybe I could just yarn over and see if it will go through that way just fine. There we go. So I just yarned over and what we're going to do is I'm going to try to weave in my tail as I go and I am going to single crochet in each stitch around. So just starting off right where I ended, row 17, we'll just single crochet like so. And again, you don't have to weave in your tail like I'm doing. I just do that to make it easier at the end of the project. Otherwise, you can just leave your tail behind your work and weave it in after you are done. So I'm just going to keep going around the entire project, putting in this band of color. And at the end, you should have a total of 36 single crochets. Okay, so I'm to my last stitch of round 18, and I am going to get ready to do round 19. And I'm actually going to show you a cleaner way of fastening off your, or changing colors and fastening off your yarn uh, so we can go back to the brown, which is our main color of our hat. So I'm just going to single crochet in this last stitch, and how I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up a loop so there's two loops on my hook, and I'm going to drop this pewter yarn, and I'm going to pick up my brown yarn. And then I'm just going to finish off the single crochet stitch. And that will actually get you a cleaner color change in the middle. I mean, you can color change basically however you want to do it. Um, it's not going to be like a huge clean look in the back because as you can see, one stitch is higher than the other. So I don't think you can get it perfect. But all you do with the pewter yarn is you just take a scissors and you just cut a tail and then I'll just weave in that tail when I'm done. 
And that's it for our band of our project, uh, the colored band around the hat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start making the brim. So we've got the height to our cowgirl hat, and to make the brim, we will be working in the front loops only, and this will get the project to kind of fold out like what we want for a brim. So how to, how we do that is I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch, and I'm just going to put my hook up. So there's like two loops on the top that you're going through when you're single crocheting. I'm going to go right through that first loop, and I'm going to leave that other loop alone. So it's just going to be like this, splitting the stitch in a way. And then I'm just going to complete my single crochet normally in that loop. So then it makes it easy for the stitch to just kind of pop out. Also, I don't want, I want to increase my amount of stitches so that way it will lay flat. So to do that, we're going to single crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch twice. And we're just going to keep repeating this around where you single crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch. Oops, get my tail in there. There we go. And then completing two single crochets in the front loop only of the next stitch. So when you have gone all the way around your project, you should have a total now of 54 single crochet stitches. So once I get done with that, I'll show you how to work round 20. So after you have finished round 19, you should see like this little brim sticking out around the sides of your hat. If it's doing that, you did it right. Um, now we're going to go back to working in both loops of the single crochet stitches just because we only needed to do that once to get the brim to flare out. And what I'm going to do for round 20 is I'm going to work, like I said, in both loops of each stitch and single crochet in each stitch around. So just starting off with the first stitch, just like we've been doing through the majority of our project. And so at the end of round 20, I will have a total of 54 single crochet stitches in the round. Okay, so to continue on with the brim, we are going to have to keep increasing our rounds to let the stitches lay flat. So for the next round, what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. And then in the next stitch, we're going to single crochet twice. And that's going to be our new pattern all the way around. So single crochet once in the next two stitches, and then single crochet twice in the next stitch. So by the time you have finished round 21, you'll have a total of 72 single crochet stitches all the way around. Once you've finished round 21, your hat should look like this. As you can see, we're starting to get a nice thicker brim. And now we're going to do round 22, which is kind of a repeat of round 20. We're just going to take our project and we're going to single crochet in each stitch around to kind of um, help even out our increasing stitches. So when you have finished round 22, you'll have a total of 72 single crochet stitches in that round. Once we have finished round 22, Round 23, we're going to have our last increasing round. To do this, we're going to single crochet once in the next three stitches. And in the next stitch, we are going to single crochet twice. And this is going to be our repeating pattern around. So we single crochet once in the next three stitches. And single crochet twice in the fourth stitch. So by the time you finish this round, you should have a total of 90 single crochet stitches. When you finish round 90, you'll notice that the cap wants to kind of curl up around the brim. Don't worry about that, that's perfectly fine. And now we're going to go on to round 24, which again is single crocheting in each stitch around. Pretty simple. So by the time you finish this round, you will have again 90 single crochet stitches. So we have finished the basic construction of our hat, and now we're going to do a finishing off of the brim, um, especially to get rid of this little point here where we're doing our continuous rounds. 
To do that, what we're going to do is slip stitch in each, each stitch around. And to do a slip stitch, you're just going to start in the next stitch, put, poke your needle, hook through, yarn over, pull through a loop, through all the loops on the hook. And that's a slip stitch. So if you just continue around, you should have a total of 90 slip stitches when you are done. So how you fasten off is you just cut a tail about 3-4 inches in length, you yarn over and pull the whole tail through the loop, and just pull tight. So what I've done is I've woven in my tails, and now I'm ready to actually make this look like a cowgirl hat, because right now it just kind of looks almost like a straw hat. To do this, um, you're going to need a needle, you're going to need four mini pony beads, and you can use a decorative button. I'm using a large decorative bead. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to push the hat inward and then tack round three together. So by what that means is, is you take your hat, you kind of just push down with your fingers, and that kind of gets that... Um, divot up on the top that actual um, cowgirl cowboy hats have. To tack down the edges you're going to want to take a piece of yarn. If I can get one. Like so. And you're just going to sew. And we're going to sew, like I said, round three together. So, what I'm going to do is actually kind of turn, so one, round one was this round, two, and then this is round three. You can, it doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm actually taking my needle and I'm going down, I'm going to poke it up to where round three is. Like so, I just want to make sure that I'm getting in the right part of the hat that I want. I want this towards the back. There we go. Okay. So round three. So you're just bringing up your needle with the yarn. And this is round three right here. And then you're just pulling the yarn down. Like so. And I, of course, didn't have my yarn tacked that well. So you just pull it together like that. And then you want to do that a couple of times. And that will get your hat tacked down. So if you pull it tight enough, you won't see it. It'll look like that. Okay? Um, what else you want to do is you want to sew the brim up on the side. So you get the brim to curl like this. To do that, you're going to take your needle again and you are going to tack the side edges of the brim to the sides of round 16. So this was round 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's like three rounds up from the color there. And all you do is you just take and put the brim up to the side like so making sure it's parallel with your um, part up here and you take your needle and you go in like so and then you just go right back in there just like that and when you do it with the same yarn that you use to crochet it you won't be you won't see it I'm just gonna do that with the other side and you guys are going to do this a lot better than me, because obviously if you have the yarn going across, it won't fit on your doll's head. So I'm just bringing my yarn through, taking the brim, about right there. Going right back down in that hole that I had come up in. And there I go, there I have it. So your hat is going to look like so. 
I can get my other yarn tightened for you there. There we go. So that's looking pretty cute. But for the finishing touch is to add some decoration on the front. And we want that to be on that colored band. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of my pewter yarn. I'm just going to put that on my needle. So I'm just poking it up through about the middle. Slide the beads on. Or you can use buttons, whatever you like. I'm going to put them on like so, and then I'm just going to go right back down where I came. Oh, I guess I didn't go wide enough there. There. And there we go. So when you I didn't center it as well, but you can see that if you got it wide enough, it should lay flat against the hat. And then you have your finished hat. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.